In this video, we're going to continue our work with logarithms and look at solving simultaneous equations. We're asked to solve each pair of simultaneous equations. So here we have log to the base x of y is equal to 2 and xy is equal to 27. I'm going to label these up equation 1 and equation 2. I can rewrite equation 1 in exponential form. If log to the base x of y is equal to 2, we can say for equation 1, y is equal to x squared. I can now substitute this into equation 2. So I'll have x multiplied by y, which is x squared, will be equal to 27. So x cubed is 27. Taking the cube root of both sides, x will be equal to 3. I can now take my value of x and sub it into equation 1. y is equal to x squared. So we'll have y is equal to 3 squared, y is equal to 9. So we found that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 9. If you look at this one, negative 3 and negative 9 would satisfy this equation, but it wouldn't satisfy this one right here, as x and y must be positive quantities. OK, let's look at the next one. With this one right here, we will call this one equation 1 and we will call this one equation 2. We've got log to the base 5 of x minus 2 log to the base 5 of y is equal to log to the base 5 of 2. And equation 2, x plus y squared is equal to 12. Now, in terms of dealing with this one, we've got a lot of choices. What I'm going to do is write now log to the base 5 of x is equal now to log to the base 5 of 2 plus, and I'm going to add this quantity, as I add the quantity, I'm going to rewrite it as log to the base 5 of y squared. I'm now using the power law. So bringing the 2 up and adding to both sides. So this is going to be equation 1. So log to the base 5 of x. I'm now going to use the addition law on the right-hand side. Log to the base 5 of 2y squared. So we have log to the base 5 of x is equal to log to the base 5 of 2y squared. So we can say that x will be equal to 2y squared. I'm now going to sub that into equation 2. So we have 2y squared plus y squared is equal to 12. So we've got 3y squared is equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 3, y squared is equal to 4. So y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. If we now consider y cannot be equal to minus 2, as we can't log a negative number, so we can state that y cannot be equal to minus 2, therefore y will be equal to positive 2. All I need to do is sub that back in to find x, and I can do that in any of the equations. It's entirely up to me. I can put it into this one, or I can put it into equation 2. I'm going to go ahead now and put it into equation 1. x is going to be equal to 2 lots of y squared. So 2 lots of 4, x will be equal to 8. So x is equal to 8, and y is equal to 2. As stated, entirely up to you on how you want to go ahead and solve that. If you want to put it back into that one, you can do. You're going to find now that x is going to be equal to 8. OK, so that's the first two done. Let's now look at the third one. The third one now, we've got equation 1, and I'll write equation 1 just here. We've got log to the base 2 of x is equal to 3 minus 2 lots of log to the base 2 of y. Equation 2, we've got log to the base y of 32 is equal to minus 5 over 2. This time, I'm going to start with equation 2 and write the exponential equivalent. The exponential equivalent is y to the power of minus 5 over 2 is equal to 32. Therefore, we can say y is equal to 32 to the power of minus 2 over 5. I've simply raised both sides of the equation to the power of minus 2 over 5. If I do that, all I'm doing now is a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. And that's what's going to give me y to the first power. So we want now 32 to the power of minus 
two fifths. So if I take the cube root, I'm going to get two. If I square it, I will get four, and we've got the negative. So we can say that y is going to be equal to one quarter using the rules of indices. So that gives me now equation two. I'm going to sub this into equation one. So we have log to the base two of x is equal to three minus two. And now what we have here is log to the base, and I'll write this out, log to the base two of y. y is one quarter. So what we have now is log to the base two of x is equal to three minus two lots, and this is going to be minus two. This quantity is minus two, so we can put that in. So we have now the following. We have log to the base two of x is equal to seven, Writing now the exponential equivalent, 2 to the power of 7 is equal to x. So we can say that 128 is equal to x. So that now gives us x. And that's one possible way that we could have done that. Um, I can think of a couple more. But essentially what we're doing now is rewriting these and putting them now into the exponential form, expressing y as either some quantity or in terms of x and circle it back in. So there are three different simultaneous equations and there are lots of different ways that you can do them. You must check though the solutions are valid. As we saw for this one, we had y is equal to plus or minus two. We couldn't use minus two as we can't log a negative number for a real value. So do go ahead and check them. As stated, there are a range of different methods that you could use. And looking at this one, I think there might be a slightly slicker approach but we get to the answer using this approach anyhow.